In this video I'm going to show you how to build a railgun. But at first let's start with a model of a railgun to fully understand the concept how it works. What will you need for this model? A piece of cardboard, some aluminum foil, glue, a 9 volt battery, a metal stick and two magnets. Now take the aluminum sheet and cut out two straight strips. These will be our rails. Take the cardboard and cover it with glue. Glue the rails into place. When the rails are ready, it's time to put together our projector. Take the piece of metal and put one magnet on each side. Now find some wires and glue them to the rails. Take the other end and connect it to your battery. And now our railgun is ready for launch. Take the projector and place it on the rails. By reversing the magnets, you are also reversing the direction. If the current is high enough, the model will work without the magnets attached. Exactly as a real high power railgun, the projector needs an initial velocity, otherwise it would just be welded to the rails. You can also see sparks flying destroying the grays gradually and the projector gets hot as well. So how does it work? First of all, there are two rails connected to a huge power source. The projectile is located between the rails and basically causes a short circuit which causes a high current. All currents create a magnetic field as shown as in the picture. According to the Lorentz law, every charge traveling in a magnetic field experiences a force. This force, green in the picture, propels the projectile between the rails. Here I am screwing together my rail setup, consisting of two metal rails and a top and bottom acrylic piece. These are the finished rails. You can find more detailed pictures on my website. This is the capacitor bank I am using as energy source. It consists of three capacitors with each 2200 microfarads at 400 volts. This equals an electrical energy of 528 joules. In order to reinforce the rails, I covered them with hot glue. With the help of my soldering iron, a bolt and some washers, I connected two cables directly to the capacitor bank. This design is called a hot rail design because the capacitor bank is always connected to the rails and the projectile itself works as a switch and closes the circuit. This is my 9 volt powered 400 volt DC transformer. This is the final railgun setup. We have the rails here. There is the projectile, it's not touching the rails yet. And we have a kickstart mechanism because the projectile needs to enter the rails moving. We have a trigger pin which can be pulled back, which releases this lever. And the lever pushes the projectile inside the rails. And here's some footage firing the railgun. And here in slow motion.
and here my favorite chart. Railguns are very dangerous. Don't try this at home. I do not take responsibility for your experiments at home.